cabbage. Get the vegetables. Welcome back to my channel and if you don't know that today we're gonna do a feeding video, another feeding video. So yeah, I'm gonna just prepare the vegetables. Okay, just wash the the vegetable over here, you know, keep it nice and clean for the beetles and super one vegetables. off the leaf because there is like little bits of like mud and a little like pebble like you see down here some little pebbles so yeah just make sure it doesn't go into the food you know just keep it nice and um, clean for them the bowls into you know the little dish over here carrots these are organic carrots we got it from the market just now mixly in this container um i probably might use this for the thumbnail so yeah just look out for that I'm back in the, my room and this is you know just the light for the enclosures I decided to segregate them because you know why not but I won't be feeding all of them maybe I'll just change the duckling beetles I'll teach you how to change the vegetables I'll be for, for duckling beetles and this guy is just um you know because I segregate them because you know it's easier for them to pupate so yeah let's get on to it go into the little storage cupboard I keep all my equipment and you know open the box Close the box and put it back in. Actually pupating and I'll just I'll just change this food. Even though it doesn't need food, I'll just give it some food because you know when you're pupating you need energy and if it doesn't want to pupate, I will just still give it food because you know it is good for them, good nutrients and lots of vitamins and yeah, just move this. If you don't know what this is, it's a carrot. Doesn't look like it because it's so old, it's like about a couple of weeks. And you know, take out the little vegetable. And I won't use this tongs for the fresh food because you know it's dirty. So I'll just you know just use my hands and just actually actually I'll just break it up a little bit. You know, because it's easier. And I'm not putting this near the old food because it's very disgusting and dirty. And I'll put a carrot, a little carrot there, you know, just for the water i i didn't feed some because i didn't have enough vegetables but this morning i went to the market and i got these uh fresh vegetables so i might make a vlog on that during the december holiday lineup because i'm a student and december holidays i'll have a full month free so i will make lots of videos but because of you know the current viral situation so i would make a vlogs about like day in the life and i'll go to the market and teach you how, how i get all these vegetables if you want to make um, I mean, you want to feed um, um, bugs and all these nice pets. Not taking them out yet, so I'll just take them out. You know, just use the tongue, grab it, and put it on the tissue. Yeah, just repeat that and until everything is gone. Mind you that if you, if your beetles are in like this communal setup you need to remember one thing which is make sure there isn't any babies because these guys the babies i was cleaning the enclosure and there were tons of this mini little cute little super worms and i just um they, i find it adorable but i some of them had to go to get it away because it's so tiny i couldn't pick it up my hand you know and yeah and because it's near the poop because these guys are animals they poop so yeah you just need to watch out that make sure there are no babies around here because you might throw them away and that's not good especially if you're if you're a breeder and don't just keep them as pets and you like to breed them and i'm a breeder and i also do some research on this and i realize those are babies so yeah we just need to be more careful with them being the little these guys carrots i'll just toss them in and the leaf i'll put it on the roof sometimes you get up on the leaf on the roof to get it you know give some exercise and you know climbing these guys love to climb and low you see just water bit beets they actually love them though like drinking because you know you, like, you can't give them like water dishes because they would drown but if you give them little bits like little beads of water and yeah they'll love it and oh god oh my my enemy my enemy they came wow wow they all come die i hate ants sorry ants canada if you're watching this i don't know why you're watching a small channel but i hate ants sorry i just hate ants they just Ugh, they kill my they kill my pets. They kill generation one. So I'm just gonna I just hate them. That's why I spray and repellent everywhere, but I guess it isn't effective enough. 
Yeah, and, and usually they, some people say I don't show emotion, but yeah, I do actually show emotion in my videos, just not that much. Oh, I hate ends. Food for this, guys, and since they are in a smaller, like, isolation container, I would use, like, little bits of the leaf. I'll just tear it up. So first, remove the old vegetables. And then usually, I'll just throw it away or compost them. Depends on my mood. All the food for these guys, you know, just ripped up a little bit of, um, of the vegetable, you know. So we just got rid of the end problem. Hope they don't come back. Yeah, so now I know we have to spray this like every two days. I also come back and I still have all these vegetables, so I'll either compost them or just feed it to the rest of the guys. Because you know, some guys also need some. Oh, I need to replace the food. You know, you know what the drill is? We just take it up, put it in there for this guy, you know, chilling and enjoying the leaf. The vegetables in and you know over here you know these guys are gonna be very full by the end of by the time i switch again and you know there's a bit of this but i'll just you know toss them out or compost them as i said depends on my mood and i'm just gonna wrap this up what i'm gonna do is just gonna wrap this up nicely and just toss it away in the bin that's it for this video don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment and as always, bye-bye.